Hi everyone. So here we go again. Um, I lost this video. I've got to figure out what's going on with my um, video camera and see why I'm losing video because I come in today to finish up this page and yeah, I looked through all the video. I looked through my raw video everywhere and I have nothing on it. So I don't know what's going on. Um, so we're here today to work on how to lift my spirits. And what I did here is I basically just took a teal paint. I actually want to put another color on there now that I look at it. But um, I took a teal paint and just messed around. And then these are just different stamps that I have. Um, I'm going to add some a little bit of this green here. I just kind of like that green. So what we're doing today, what I've got going on today for this um, How to Live My Spirits, one of the things I love to do is to read. I have been a reader since, oh gosh, as long as I can remember. I love to read because then I can go somewhere in my, you know, in that book. I can be in a different place. And sometimes that's what it takes to get away from the chronic pain is just to get out of there and get into that different place. So that is one of the things I, I you know, I do. Um, as a matter of fact, I read every night. And there's some nights um, the pain is so intense that I can't sleep. So to try to take my mind off it, what I do is read. So I've got a bunch of these old craft paints here and I wanna to try to use them up. I don't even know if it's good or not. This one looks like it's never been opened. So um, yeah, that's one of the things I do. Uh, I do not, well, I can't say I don't read regular books anymore because I do. Um, I read a lot on my paper white, which is just kind of like a little Kindle, only it's just strictly for books. There's no internet type stuff, none of that. So, um, yeah, that's what I read on. And I have found a site called um, Free Booksy, B-O-O-K-S-E-Y. Go to that website and you can actually sign up to get free books sent to you. And you get to choose. Um, you know, of course, you're going to have to put down what genre, what genre you like. <clears throat> Pardon me. And what you want to, you know, read. And every day they send me an email and I get free books. I know some of my friends have, have <laughs> picked on me about it. How many books do you have? I'm like a little over a thousand. You could be able to read that many. That's okay. Yeah, they're there. I don't care. It's it's They're there. That's all that matters. So, yeah, check it out. If, you, if you're an avid reader, um, check out Free Booksy. And like I said, I always... Uh, read the hard, you know, the actual books themselves, but I have found that this reader, because it's strictly for books, um, you can change your font size, you can change, you know, everything on it. It works better for me than an actual book because I've got a lot of problems with this left hand, and for me to hold the book um, open for that amount of time, it just it gives me major cramps through here. So what I'll do is I'll just sit. Um, like I said, I usually do it when I go to bed. So I'll sit the paperweight right here and just kind of hold it and just read. And the flip a page, all I have to do is move my thumb. Isn't that awful? But that's what I do. And I find that works really well. Now, I do have other series of books that have, um, that are actual book books. And I will be reading those again. It's a series that I really enjoyed, um, so I definitely, it's been quite a while since I've read them, and I want to read them again. So I found in this, I don't even know where this was, I think this came out of a magazine, um, and it's about, you know, I just pulled out these books. The other thing that I love to do, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can see that or not, is journal. Since my accident and since I've had so much time to really think about, you know, everything that happened and, you know, wishing it away, hoping it would go away, it never has, um, I have found that journaling is huge for me. I know, um, for those of you that are on my chronic pain channel, you know that that's one of my go-tos. It is one of my huge go-tos. Now, what I've been doing recently is I'm trying, these are not mine, by the way, but I'm trying to 
add some sketching. I actually have a, a sketching book out next to um, where I sit at night on the couch, and I will take that sketching book and just play there and mess, you know, sit there and doodle around it or whatever, have fun with it while you know we're watching a movie or something. So yeah, these are my. Good, this is one of the ways I lift my spirits. Um, I have noticed the more I journal, I'll start out really negative, like, ah, you know, it's been a really bad day, blah, 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 blah. But the more I journal, the lighter it gets and the happier it gets. So if you haven't done it, try it. Um, here's another little journal here, which I'm going to fit in here somewhere. And this says, ideas come and go. And that's so true. I actually have a book. I don't know if I've showed you guys this. I have a book right here that anything that um, I think about, I want to do, uh, it all goes in this book. And this is, you know, where I get my things that I want to tape, all that kind of stuff. It's always in the book. So I keep it with me pretty much regularly so that if I have an idea, I can write it down. So that says ideas come and go. And that's the purpose of having this journal here. The other one is being able to lose yourself is necessary to develop and grow and I believe that wholeheartedly and that's gonna go with these books so let me go ahead and get this page put together and we will be all set I'll be back
right, guys. I didn't realize I didn't have my camera on. Um, I was just sitting here playing around with the books and put in the word read um, and then just did some scribbling over here, basically. And I don't know if you guys heard that, but that was a crazy car that just went by. It was loud. Um, anyways, so, yeah, this is one of the things that I do to lift my spirits. I will actually go and grab my book or my paper white and <clears throat> just get into a story. Just get into a story and, you know, take myself away. And does that get rid of the pain? Nope. Um, but it kind of gets my mind off it for a while, right? So that's one of them. Um, the other one, again, is my journal. And this says here, it says ideas come and go. And this is Idea Keeper. But journal, I journal a lot of stuff. I journal emotional journaling. I um, personal journal. I have actually started a journal for my canning which I really I'm, I'm learning to do and I'm absolutely in love so I started a journal with that with recipes and how things made out and what I made and da 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 so yeah um between reading and journaling this can take up a lot of time um if you have that time to commit to it if you don't even you know get a book out read a chapter you know um when you get a chance read another chapter if you can't read a chapter read a few pages uh I tend to do that a lot um, with my paper white, you know, if I'm just, I need to chill for a minute, grab the paper white, read a few pages, boom, I'm done, go on. So anyways, here they are. I hope you guys have enjoyed, um, and I can't wait until the next one. All right, guys, have fun. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.